In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a trigger for EQ Log Parser. This is a very basic trigger, and I'm going to be using my Shaman. You can see I have the log file enabled here. I've created this test folder, and inside I'm going to create a new trigger. Go ahead and right-click the trigger and rename it, whatever it is. I'm going to write Shaman Spire here. And on the overlays section, you need to assign a text overlay. You need to assign a timer overlay. I'm not going to worry about these colors right now. You can change those later. For comments, I'm going to type in Shaman Spire of the Ancestors. And it's an AA. So for pattern, I'm going to be searching my log file for the phrase that I see in game whenever this ability lands on my character. So I'm going to go to my log search and you can see I've already found it and I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to copy it. Ooh, I don't want the space there at the beginning. Highlight it, copy it, go back to the trigger manager, paste it in there. So this is not case sensitive. It says down here in the little description. Um, you do have to spell it exactly correct though, or it will not work. Under priority, I'm going to leave that alone. Repeated reset time, I'm going to leave that alone. Now this sound text to speak, this is the voice that you're going to hear from EQ Log Parser whenever this trigger fires. So I'm just going to write Shaman Spire on. And I want to keep it short and concise, and that way it's not talking a lot, because you might have a lot of triggers, you might have them going off all the time. So text to display, I'm going to write something similar, but I'm going to make it a little bit different so that you can see the different windows when they come up. So this will be Shaman Spire Active. For enable timer, we do want a timer. We're going to use a countdown. And these other options come up. We're going to give this an alternate timer name. For this, I'm going to call it Shaman Spire. Now, the duration of this ability, you're going to have to inspect it in game or cast it in your guild hall or guild lobby and just see the duration for yourself. But I know that this ability is one minute and 30 seconds duration. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to change the one minute to zero, and I'm going to change the 30 seconds down to 15, so that you folks just aren't waiting through a long timer. The end sound is going to be the sound you hear when this trigger ends. So I'm going to write Shaman Spire off, and the end text that you're going to see will be Shaman Spire ended. And the reason I'm keeping these different is just so that you can see the different text in the windows in the overlays while they're up there. So if this ability is triggered again, do we want to start a new timer? We can leave that alone for this because usually there's not two shamans in the group, but you can change this to restart it or restart it if it's the same name. Down under reset duration. You don't need to set this up for a default timer, but for the purposes of this video, I am going to put a duration in here. Normally, this ability's recast time is 7 minutes and 30 seconds. Now, I'm going to change this, just for the purpose of the video, to 0 minutes and 30 seconds. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to show you something later on, and I don't want it to take too long, and I don't want to freeze the video. And Fast forward. So, worn with time remaining. This is when the ability is about to end. And I'm talking about the, the duration up here, this 15 seconds. It's going to warn you if you set in a time here. So I'm going to leave that to zero because I don't want to be spammed with a bun bunch of messages that I don't need to hear. I know that the ability is going to last one, one minute, 30 seconds, or in this case, 15 seconds. And I know that the reset timer, I've changed from 7 minutes and 30 seconds to 30 seconds. So I'm going to leave these warnings alone. We don't need those. And there's a timer and early settings. You can search for different patterns depending on the trigger that you're making. 
to end the timer if the ability ends early. And what I mean by that is sometimes you cast a rune or an ability that has a certain number of triggers before it fades. And in this box, you can type in the message that you would get when the ability actually faded. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in that pattern. So I need to go back to my log file, find the pattern for whenever Apex of the Ancestors ends, because that's the that's what I put in the um, pattern up top here. You focus on the apex of ancestors. So back to the log file. I lose focus. You lose focus of the apex of ancestors. That'll be our end early, which isn't necessary for this trigger. I'm just putting it in for the video. So sound and text to speak. That again is what EQ log parser will say when it ends. I don't need it to say anything. Uh, you could have a text overlay to say it ended early. You could say Spire ended early. Now, make sure you save your properties. Everything you did in there needs to be saved. That's important. To test this trigger, the developer added this handy tool under View, Triggers, Trigger Tester. This opens up this panel down at the bottom and what you can do is copy from your log file the phrase that you need with the timestamp. You need that whole line. Copy that. And again, we're looking for you focus on the apex of ancestors. That's the trigger that we made here, the, the trigger pattern. So go ahead and if there's something in there already, you can get rid of it. I'm going to put the one single line that tells me when that buff is on me. Make sure you have your character selected in the drop down and hit the run test. Oops, I made a mistake. I forgot to check the box to enable that trigger. So go ahead and check the box and run the test. Shaman Spire on. Now you can see that it played the sound. You can see Shaman Spire active overlay is here. And the cooldown timer was 15 seconds here. Shaman's fire off. And it just ended. So the reason I typed in this reset duration is I wanted to show you a different type of overlay that's exclusive to EQ Log Parser. It wasn't part of Gina. Gina, you would have to do things differently to make this work. But we're going to create a new overlay. New timer overlay. And this one I'm going to rename it to cooldown timer overlay. And for this one, go over to the right hand side under timer overlay, you see mode here. We're gonna change this from standard to cooldown. And make sure you save the change. And we're gonna preview the overlay to see where it's at. I'm gonna move it, I'm gonna save its position, and I'm gonna close it. Now let's go back to the trigger that we just made. Now, keep in mind, the duration here is 15 seconds. The cooldown of this ability, we put in 30 seconds. Now again, I'll change those numbers later, but I just wanted to show, the, show this feature. So let's go ahead and run the test again. Shaman Spire on. Oh, I made a mistake. We need to go to the Assign Timer need to change this from the default timer overlay to the new cooldown timer overlay that we just created. Shaman Spire off. So go ahead and make that change and hit save. Now let's try it one more time and see what happens. Shaman Spire on. You can see it put it in a different overlay, this new cooldown overlay here off to the side. Now it's going to count down 15 seconds and when it reaches the end it's going to do something a little different. It counts down to 15 seconds. Shaman Spire off. And then it starts counting back up. The reason it does that is it lets you know how long the ability has lasted on you before it ends, and then it counts back up to let you know how much time is left on the recast, on the cooldown of that ability. Now what's handy about that is if you need to keep an ability up constantly, like a shaman epic or a bard epic something that doesn't last very long but you need to keep casting it 
This is very handy for that because it can keep reminding you when that ability is back up. So, again, I doctored the numbers for the video, but our duration of this ability was supposed to be 1 minute and 30 seconds. That's the duration. The reset duration is actually 7 minutes and 30 seconds. So now, save it. And when I run the test again, it's going to count down from 1 minute and 30 seconds. And then the reset duration will appear at the end and it will count back upwards. But it automatically subtracts this duration time from this reset duration time. So the count upwards will already have this 1 minute 30 seconds subtracted from it. And you're going to see 6 minutes as the reset duration left on the timer. And that'll tell me that I can recast that ability. So let's go ahead and run the test. And I'm going to fast forward so you guys don't have to sit through it. Shaman Spire on. You can see the text overlay appeared here. The cooldown timer overlay appeared here. It was 1 minute and 30 seconds, and it's going to count down. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to when it's almost ended. Okay, here you can see my ability is almost ended. And watch the transition. Shaman fire off. So about six minutes left on the timer. So six minutes is what's left after you subtract one minute and 30 seconds from seven minutes and 30 seconds. So that will fill up and let me know that that ability is ready to be recast. And that's it for this video. I will add more as I get to it. Thanks for watching.